Well, welcome back to the northeast of Scotland on what is an absolutely glorious evening. I'm just going to sit here and soak in the view while we wait for the sun to get a little bit lower on the horizon. Gosh, it's absolutely stunning. this little stream here going into the sea. I was actually down here on the beach about 45 minutes ago when this was more pronounced, but the tide is still going out, so the water is becoming less and less. There's also a lot of footprints around this as well, which are a little bit of a nuisance, but you've got to work with what you've got. I feel like there's, there's a photography opportunity here somewhere. The light is beautiful just now, so I'll see, I'll see. light is really enticing me this evening because we've got no clouds in the sky at all I am thinking using some of this gorgeous golden light here and zooming in to different parts of this little outlet here trying to get the shimmering light on the sands creating some abstract style images could be the way to go this evening it also helps me to eliminate the footprints as well and as I say, eliminate the sky, because it is just very, very blue with no, no real interest. So evenings like this are always great for abstract imagery. They're always great to look at the ground and see what's going on and see what sort of images you can come up with by doing that. And I always, I believe there's always opportunities. And actually I've just framed up an, an image here that has a footprint in it, but I actually really like it because it showcases our connection with nature and the land. Beautiful. Now, some photographers would argue that keeping a footprint in your images can create distractions and make for quite a messy image. And in many cases, this can be true. But in this image here, I really like the footprint. I felt it complemented the stream of water and how I'd positioned myself slightly above it to create this angle here. I really felt that it worked compositionally. As I say though, in many cases, footprints can be a distraction. And I certainly found that in this next image here, where I had three or four footprints littering the scene. I did try to remove these in Photoshop, but it didn't turn out very well. But I loved the light in this image. So rather than discarding it, I got the crop tool out and cropped out all of the footprints, leaving me with this beautiful square crop image here. I then decided to look more deeply at some of the textures and patterns within the water to see what other images I could create. I've been trying to make this pool of water and this sort of S-curve going out towards the sunset work. 
but because the sky's not got much going on in it and also just because of the position of things it's just not quite there it, it just I just feel the image is really lacking something and I think it's to do with the sky when you don't have anything above the sunset you just have this very almost bare area which in some photography situations can look really nice but I just feel with this image it's just not quite working so one thing I've just done which is a bit of an experiment was I got really close to the ground and I was using these beautiful shapes here in the sand as foreground interest with a little bit of light reflecting on it and then I had the sunset right in the distance and I wanted to use the camera's internal focus stacking setting that I used a few videos ago but I didn't really feel I had the time to set that up so I did it manually and basically all I did was on the camera I've got you can focus on the back screen just by tapping the back screen so I tapped as close to the camera as possible took an image tapped halfway into an image and then tapped right on the horizon where the sunset was and took another image all done in manual mode so that the exposure is exactly the same and then I'm going to try and blend that together in the computer and see if it's going to give me a, a sharp front to back focus within the image photography I think is all about experimentation in some cases and it's just worth trying these things out because you never know you never know so regardless of whether it worked out or not i'll show you the the finished image now and we'll see and we'll see we'll see if my attempts to to make this work paid off or if it's just another learning opportunity oh my goodness i was absolutely blown away with this image when i got home by taking three images, one focusing on the foreground, one on the midground, and one on the background, I was able to create this beautiful image here with stunning front to back sharpness. I really have no idea why I haven't properly looked into focus stacking until recently. Doing this technique, I feel in some cases is completely transforming some of my images. And it's certainly something I'm gonna be doing a lot more of moving forwards. I'd mentioned that I tried to get some images of the S-curve and it wasn't really working out well. However, when I got home and looked at this image here on the big screen, it actually had turned out pretty well. It just shows sometimes that you can never be 100% sure looking on the back of your small LCD screen and sometimes by blowing it up on the computer, images that you thought weren't good end up having a whole new life. Wow. Now that the sun is pretty much almost set, I'm going back to abstract. I love this light when the sun has just gone below the, the clouds and you're left with this gorgeous afterglow. There's still plenty of light to use in imagery and you've got this beautiful almost silveriness that casts on the wet sand. It is so beautiful and you've got this lovely blue light reflecting on it as well. And I'm just looking around at some of these shapes in the sand again and there's some beautiful ones. There's these gorgeous circular ones that almost look like spaceships and by facing towards where the sun is set we're getting the most of that gorgeous reflection. So I'm just going to see how this, this turns out. I think I think these could be at the end of all this my favourite images of this evening because this is actually really nice. It's lovely to just look at the ground and connect with it because there's so much below our feet that we just walk on and discard all the time that is and can be amazing photography opportunities.
to end, here's some quick snapshots of the gorgeous orange glow that we were left with after the sun went below the horizon. What a gorgeous evening. I could stay out here all night. It is so, so beautiful. It's been an interesting evening. I've tried a few different styles of photography, trying to adapt to the weather conditions. There's a lot of photographers that wouldn't come out on a clear night like tonight for sunset because they want those clouds and that interest in the sky. But there's always opportunities and you just have to adapt to the situation. And definitely looking at your feet is a great way to do that. When you've got that golden light streaming across the sand, if you can find interesting textures and patterns, interesting inlets of water, there's so many incredible opportunities. Just head out in all weathers and just experiment. Tonight for me, it was a bit of a rush to be honest. I didn't have that much time. But in the time I did have, I decided to experiment, try a few different techniques and see how they'll turn out when I get home and edit the images. They may not have worked particularly well, but whatever doesn't work well is always a learning opportunity. There's no such thing as mistakes, there's only learning opportunities. And just getting out and embracing it, it's all part of the experience, it's part of the journey, part of, part of all of that. And it's beautiful, so, so beautiful. What an evening. I could literally stay out all night, but at this time of year, the temperature plummets so quickly. As soon as the sun is set, it just gets so cold. My feet are wet after being in that sand and my hands are getting numb. So I think despite how beautiful it is and the fact there's still plenty of light, I think I'm gonna head home. But great evening, so glad I came out. And as always, I wanna say a huge thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you all again next Sunday.